Okay, I want to say hi again guys, it's only me, Wushu Richard, okay? In this video, you see I'm kind of, I've got a pole in front of me here, this is not a pole dancing video. <laughs> Just joking, this, this video, okay, here, um, I'm going to be showing you a few moves from Wing Chun. But I'm not talking about Wing Chun exactly, I'm talking about Wing Chun, but I'm also talking about other martial arts, um, in terms of the philosophy, and this is a very simple video. What I want to say, basically, is... With a pole like this, right, with something in the center, you see, on the center, like I've told you, in the middle of your body, right down the middle, this should be a center line, and you want to defend that center line, okay? So, when you, when I'm doing my um, Wing Chun training, for example, you see me training on doors and stuff sometimes, uh, sorry, um, on trees, uh, trees more so, okay? But I'll be here, let's say, and I'll be working techniques like this. This is good for conditioning. You don't want to go so hard and crack your hand against it so hard, you know, your arms. But this is like a basic training you can do. Like you can go in, out, and down. You see, in, out, and down. This is basically like working your blocks. I can do a crossing block there, outer block, see? Now, if this was somebody's arm coming across, coming out, obviously, I'll be able to move that away. Their arm will move as they're coming to attack me. So, okay. The same as when I do my parry blocks with my palms here. I'm just hitting the pole. Same thing, it's like if someone's going to hit me here, I'll, I'll parry their hand away and I'll strike through. So from this side, see, when you see me training these blocks, okay, like in Wing Chun, I know this is not a perfect angle here, but it's on my centre here. I'm, keep, I'm not having my body on the side, I'm keeping it on the centre here of me. When I'm training with someone, if I'm training with someone doing Wing Chun, or even if someone really comes up to attack me, to hit me, okay, I'm going to do a block, let's say like an outer block, and their hand that's going to hit me, you know, I'll move it away and then I can strike them, right? Or I can move it and palm them or punch them. I can, I can also go this way, like a crane, or I can grab the arm, chop, punch, all those things, back fist, right? Or go straight. I could do a hook. I could do an elbow coming in. If I'm in close range, I could do an elbow that way. I could bring their arm down. I can hit them low, like that or like that. Okay, low elbows too. Okay. I could block out and then bring their hand down and then come in and strike that way. I can do all the blocks you see in my mind so I can parry a hand here and strike. These are lots of basics you'll find in Wing Chun anyway. But what I'm basically talking about in this video is not only Wing Chun, I'm just talking about the concept, okay? Like I've said before, parrying and striking, right? You see, when you're facing something like this, when you're using something for, con for concentration and focus, you're keeping your stance, bend your knee. A bit, you know, keep, keep a good base, stand there. You can train two ways. One way is you can train the moves in the air here in front of you, just imagining where the arms are. And then when you strike out, when you hit, let's say, however you do that, blocking, chopping, whatever, see, then you're working, you're striking. So that's the face or the body. This will resemble a person, okay? You get this, the outsides and then the, the center, which this resembles a person, so the face the body and then the outsides here and here so I'm working so I'm blocking in my mind imagining working around all of the, the different the different um, moves it could be karate I could do an outer block here and punch to his body or to his face you see if I go off the angle I'm off the angle he can hit me now see if I go open here he can hit me I'm open see so you don't want to go you see what I'm trying to say though you want to make sure you've got good understanding of arm placement but what I'm trying to say is, you know, so that's one way of training. The other way is when you go really in close, and that's what you see me do a lot of, and I like to mix up the ways as well. Like when I'm here, I'll be training, and I'll be actually doing the blocks, being careful in that, training with my forearms, blocking, inner block, or like this, inner block, or outer block. See, I'll be doing it all, even the sticky ones and that, like that, like this one here, you see? Or like going into a lock on the side. I work all of my techniques with me. The elbows are my parry down. So that's so I'm going in or going down, but I'm not sticking to it as I'm going in, see? Okay, doing the double blocks as well. See, I'm working it all. Because I do Wing Chun mainly, as I say. You know, I'll be walking around as well, maybe to different angles, you see? So I'll be parrying and striking. So I'm being careful. I'm not going all out, smashing my arms up and my fists up on it. It's hard, but it's like... It's for some conditioning, and I'm, I'm balancing the hard and the soft, as I say, the low blocks, high blocks, high there, stick in there. You don't want to go crack hitting always, you want to make sure you can stick also, stick into it, see. I might do my circle blocks, as I said before, but I'm, I'm not going to go a mile away, leave myself open to attack. I'm going to make sure I'm close, you see, when I'm doing it, see. 
So, you know, so when I'm doing the techniques, as I say, I'm getting, maintaining some force the whole time. So even though the arm's not coming out here, it's like straight here, see this pole, I'm using it for the body and I'm also using it to train for the arms. In my mind, I'm imagining where the arms are. And you might say, well, Richard, that's very close, isn't it, to an opponent? Yeah, but that's what we're working for, close range anyway. The further out you are, the longer range, yeah, it's like you can run and get the bus, more or less, right? So this is the centre line here, right? I'm putting it in the centre on purpose for this video, more or less in the centre of the screen. And you can see, see, so when I'm doing my moves here, I'm working, you see. If I was to punch off the side, see, my hand's off, he can hit me in the face if I'm here, see. So I can do movements. I could step to the side, do a circular block, let's say, or do a move where I go away and let him go past. I could do a move where I grab his hand and go there. I might even just block there, block with my forearm and then punch him anyway. I can do all those techniques, knees, low kicks, whatever it's going to be. As I go low blocking, I don't want to bring both hands down. I'm open and make sure my, I've got a guard there too. And come back. If I come back from too far away, you can hit me. So you see all the techniques. If I do a low, long elbow, you can hit me here. So I'm sticking really close the whole time. When I'm doing the punches or the palms, see I'm sticking. I might even really stick like a, see like a snake there as I'm doing this. I'm kind of really close in. I don't want to give him any space. I don't want to go one, two, do fancy kung fu moves and he hits me. You understand in real life, see, so I'm coming close. I'm not giving him any chance. See, from, I'm sitting from a mile away, see my elbow's here, and I'm coming just too far. I want to make sure it's like this, see, as I take his hand away, bam, see, take the hand away. So I block that hitting here, see. I might catch his hand and immediately go in. I'm not going to go one, two. I'm not going to give any chance. I'm not going to go one, two, always. See, even my, I'm going to go actually straight away. See? I might bring that down and hit. See, or chop him. This is a block and this is a chop, let's say. This could be a low block and a high chop. It could be two blocks. It could be um, a, a high block and a, you know, a high block and a low chop, whatever it's going to be. It doesn't really matter if you're holding a weapon for training, I'm saying, for training martial arts practice, not not carrying it on the street. I'm just saying if you were to carry, if you were to train with like let's say training knives or sticks or just or just work your punches or your back your palms, see, your, your, just your elbows, whatever you're gonna do, any martial arts, you can work your boxing, you know, you see Muay Thai, whatever. I'm saying using something like this for focus is good. That's what I'm trying to say, you can work on it, see. But of course I can't walk around here because it's like stuck to this step here. I just thought I'd let you know exactly what I'm doing. If I'm fighting on the side like this always, it's not always good either. You need to be able to fight on the side too. I've got my knee here for protection too, my stable stance. But it should be like really facing it straight onto here. So my hands are never far away. See, as I'm parrying that, so I'm blocking his foot away here. See, I'm coming in. If he, if he takes this hand down, my elbow's going to immediately come in. If my arm's too high like this, you see, and this, if this resembles his hand, and I don't forget, so he, he's holding my elbow up, so this is stuck, he can hit me here, right? So when I'm doing it, I should relax my shoulder and make sure I'm not going too high, too low, giving it, if I feel, in my mind, when I'm training with a real person, I'll be able to feel where the hands are. I'm not really forcing anyone's hands anywhere or trying to fight against the pressure. That's what I'm basically doing, so it's a simple video. I'm going to stop this video now. I'm just explaining a few things to you. And I'll make you another video too, okay, on this kind of training. Thank you so much for watching. Be open-minded and practice different ways.